You've got to like the breast. You've got to date the breast. You've got to fondle the breast. You must love the breast. Today, we're going to be doing something a little homemade. Breaded panko seasoned chicken. What kind of seasoning? I'm not quite sure yet. Let's find out. Now, I've already pre-prepared all the things you need. Chicken, flour, white egg without the yolk, and some dry bread crumbs with a little bit of seasoning. I think it's onion? I think it's onion. But we'll be putting our own on today, so. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take a nice chicken loaf here, throw it in the flour. You're gonna wanna make sure your breast is nice and full and fluffy. Nobody likes a fluffy breast, actually, never mind. Now, once it's all floured up, like so, you dip it in the egg. Now, it's a little messy, so just prepare for that. Throw it right in the panko here, just like that. You're gonna want... Now, you're just gonna wanna pound it, broke this man. You're gonna be a good chicken. Man, I wonder what your brothers taste like. You sprinkle the rest of the panko right on top. Let that sit in. There, you've got yourself some nice chickens. I like my chicken a little salty, so I'm just gonna take a little pinch of chicken, I mean, pinch of salt, fuck. Throw it right on top. And pinch you, you. Now this is the first introduction of the box of spices. Let's see what we've got in here today. We've got uh, some pesto herb, citrus chipotle ketchup, maple spice, chipotle chili, that sounds delicious. Sour cream and onion, that, on, no, on chicken that does not sound nice. Mango curry, and taco. Well, oh, oh, one more tzatziki dip mix. I think this will this will make a nice chicken. Just you just want a little tiny bit because this stuff's super powerful. Now after all this is done, you're gonna gently pick up your breast, caress it like a newborn baby, love it a little bit, place it right in, tell it a bedtime story. And of course, you can't forget the butter. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter right on top. Let that sink right in. Let it get nice and crispy. Now it's gonna absorb into the bread. So the bread, of course, will be a little greasy, but hopefully during the cooking process, I don't know, it might evaporate or like melt off or something like that. I'm gonna take a whole onion, take one quarter of a piece at a time, just place it right in with the chicken. Now, you're just going to place it around the chicken, just like that, just so it absorbs any juices, and onion juice will also... You're going to want us to just throw these mushrooms right on top, actually. Here is what it looks like right before it's being turned on. Hopefully it turns good. 